Hey everybody, welcome back to the Civivi YouTube channel. I'm Seth Erkenbrecht. Today I've got a brand new knife from Civivi to check out. This is the Civivi Conspirator. Hey guys, before we get into this knife, I want to introduce you to somebody special who is joining us in the Wii, uh, Civivi Wii Studio today. Um, a friend of the program and a longtime friend of Wii Knife. What's up, Seth? Introducing Kyle. Hey guys. <laughs> Guys, you probably already know Kyle. Kyle has been a longtime friend of uh, Wee Knife Company and a longtime friend of one of our favorite retailers, Blade HQ. Uh, did some work with Blade HQ for a long time and has been helping us out um, at shows and doing some different things. Uh, but Kyle recently moved on from Blade HQ and we took the opportunity to snag him up as, a, uh, as much as we could on a part-time basis to work with us. Help us with our videos, help us with our branding, help us with our marketing um, and social media and that kind of stuff. So, Kyle. Excited to be here. This will be fun. It, it is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, I'm excited to bring another person in on the videos because people are getting bored of me. So, <laughs> <laughs> we don't see why. <laughs> you, have, right? you have a full beard. I don't have that. So, I can't bring that to the TV. Well, you're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what comes in. <laughs> uh, in any case, um, it's exciting to have you. A lot of people know you by Cougar Kyle. Yes. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know how that you got that nickname, but you've probably seen the video if you haven't looked it up. <laughs> Kyle, um, tell us just briefly as an introduction to, um, to the people who maybe aren't familiar with you, mm -hmm. what your experience is in the knife industry and kind of uh, what brought you here. Yeah, perfect. So I've been in the knife industry probably for about, I want to say five to seven years, uh, working at Blade HQ for four, five years in different parts of Blade HQ. I was a shipping manager, worked customer service, and then also I ended my employment there being a buyer. And that was in charge of like a lot of the catalog that's on the website at Blade HQ. And so I had to be very familiar with all, all the product, how sales were, as well as how easy stuff was to ship and all that fun stuff. And so then talking to Seth and talking to we kind of just went from there and here like you said, here we are. Yeah, Kyle was, Kyle was always a great asset to me. Um, you know, like you mentioned, you were the buyer. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a lot of times I would come to Kyle with, with questions and, and things about um, about our product line and different stuff. So he was always a, a great asset, always a great asset at the shows. Um, so it's been fun. We get to have Kyle now. at uh, He's going to be coming down to Blade, Texas with us in a couple of weeks. He's going to be out at the NRA show with us. going to be at Blade and in Atlanta um, yep. and everywhere we can use him. So... Guys, uh, come on out and say hi to us at the show. Hopefully you're going to be at Blade Texas in the next week or so here. We'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> we will be there. Um, Kyle, let's get into this this knife. I know you've been a, a real proponent of the Wii and Civivi button locks coming out. I love it. it. It's good stuff, right? Okay, guys, we have four versions of the Conspirator that are coming out. Um, this knife is going to be available right at the end of March. So right um, about the time this video drops, you should be able to pick these up. And we've got a dark green micarta with the Damascus blade. We've got the green micarta with a black stonewashed nitro V blade and a Ku Borsha wood with a gray stonewashed nitro V blade and black micarta with a gray stonewashed blade. Um, the black micarta, we haven't done a lot of that. Yeah. So that's that's kind of cool. Um, let, me, let me just pass you one of these knives and I want you to uh, take us through, take us through it a little bit. Well, as always, you have the awesome button lock. Love it. Yeah. Love the button lock. One, it just offers another way to open the knife, right? Instead of always using the flipper, you can also just pinch that button lock and swing it open. Yep. So that's super fun. And I know this probably looks weird, guys. I'm left-handed. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is a benefit to a button lock, though, right? Yeah, it, it still I mean, works. It works really well. Like, I, got, I have gotten super used to using button locks and automatics by just using my index finger. And so I can use that. Yeah. And it works just fine. If I would have known you were a lefty, I wouldn't have hired you. <laughs> Tell you what, this will be the only video I'll be on, guys. <laughs> so say goodbye to Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> but no, really cool button lock. Flipper works great. You got some small jimping on there. So you can get a solid fl solid flipping action every single time that you, you hit that flipper. Yep. Uh, also some jimping on the top of the blade. And you... Could middle finger flick this? Oh, Definitely. yeah. Definitely. You got that fuller. fuller in there, so. It works really work. well on this knife. The detent on this knife is tuned really well. Um, holds the blade in there, and yet it, you've got a really easy middle finger flip. Um, 
good solid lock up when it when mm -hmm. it flies out. It's done really well. Yeah. Um, Deep carry pocket <clears throat> clip. All the goodies. Yeah, it's got your uh, all the typical Civivi features like your uh, skeletonized stainless steel liners, um, ceramic ball bearings, um, all that all that good stuff that has kind of made made Civivi a hit. It does have a reversible pocket clip, so uh, that can be switched to the other side. For those left handers. For those left handers. <laughs> We're always thinking about you, but but you always want more. <laughs> We're needy. Yeah. We're yeah. a needy bunch. So, uh, let's jump into some of the specifications on this knife, and then uh, we will uh, move on to the next few uh, items that I have to show you today. The Conspirator has an overall length of 8.11 inches. The blade length is 3.48 inches. The blade thickness is 0.12 inches. The handle length is 4.63 inches. The weight comes in at 3.82 ounces. So we've got that uh, almost a three and a half inch blade coming in just under four ounces. So we've got uh, what you would consider a full size knife, right? For sure. Anything with like three and a half blade and up, I consider like a full size knife. Yeah. Everything below that three inch mark, that's when we, or the 3.2, that's my personal sweet spot. But once you get in those, it's kind of that smaller knife. Yep. Yep. Agreed. Um, you can definitely get a good four full finger, full, full four finger grip on this knife. Tongue twisted. Um, with the... With a little bit of room to spare for me with my uh, medium to large size hands. How's it, how's it fit you? About the same. I still have yeah. a little bit hanging off the side right there. Nice thing about the handle though, it doesn't really tell you where to put your hands. Mm -hmm. You're able just to grab wherever you want. So even if you have gloves on, you have some space. Right. It's going to be nice. And the flipper is definitely dominant enough to where if you did have gloves on, you'd still be able to push it out. Right. And then you can still disengage that button as well. Yeah. The button locks make fantastic gloved knives. Um, it does have a post in the back that you could attach a lanyard to if you wanted to, um, which I, I really enjoy that actually, um, personally, versus a hole for a lanyard, but uh, everybody's got their opinions on that. Awesome. Okay, we've got a couple of new knives. Um, I'm going to have, I'm going to hand these to you, Kyle. Perfect. Let you talk about those. Tomic. Tomashi? Tomashi. Time twisted for me, I guess. Uh, this one's features full fixed blade, Bob Tujula design. Super unique blade by by him, which is super fun. This one actually got what was it? Best tactical, Best tactical knife at Blade Show at West. At Blade Show West. So mm -hmm. I was actually kind of like, whoa, that's super cool. Just because, yeah, you don't really think tactical, but once you actually kind of look at the design and stuff like that on this knife, mm -hmm. it kind of tells you everything you need to know. And it does have the whole reverse grip if you want to do that and get all tactical with it. But not only that, you do have a lot of different functionality for this knife being that you have some jumping up here and a nice fake fault swedge up here so you can use it for a lot of different kind yeah, of tasks absolutely so this is this design we've we've released this previously these are just two new versions of it um, where we've got the black g10 with the black stone wash blade and then there's the uh, green micarta with a black stone wash blade um, so again, this, this knife has, has been around for uh, several months already, uh, but re-releasing it in some new versions right here. Um, it's, you know, talking about using this as a tactical knife, I, I had this knife out at the Gundy's. Um, we exhibited there recently, and we had one of the ballistic dummy labs oh, wow. um, dummies there with all of the, the ballistic gel and the, the bones and everything in it. And I took one of these uh, Tomashis, and I just, I wanted to see, you know, what it felt like, right? And so I, I took a stab at that thing, kind of from the, from the top of the torso, and I heard a crack. And I was like, oh shoot, I just broke the knife. <laughs> but I hadn't, it, what actually had happened is it just broke straight through the collarbone, and it was just, oh my a, gosh. It, was, it just went snap. It was, it was pretty cool, actually. That's um, crazy. Anyway, the design of this knife, Bob Terzwell is kind of known as the godfather of the tactical knife. Yes. Um, legend in knife making, and he gave us a fantastic design here. So um, this knife, uh, again, some really cool new versions that we have here. It really is. And I think something that's really cool to point out, too, is this is the quality right here on this pin. On some of the fixed blades that you'll get, you'll start feeling a little line on the pins when they have those, put the scales on. But this, like, you can even rub your fingernail across that, and it's seamless. Right. Um, that's a great point. And it's also a two-piece handle which you wouldn't know when you're looking at it. It looks like, because those seams are, are so well done, that it looks and feels like one piece, um, you know, with the, the tang going into the handle, but, but it is actually two scales on there. 
but yeah. it's it's done very very well. The quality the quality in, is impeccable here. It is really cool. I like it. All right, uh, guys, the next new knife that we have, a new version of a classic, the Bull Mastiff. Uh, this has, is one of my favorite designs from the 2020-2021 era. Um, so I'm really excited to bring this back in some new versions. We have a green, dark green micarta with a black stonewash blade, a black G10 textured with a black stonewash blade, and the natural G10 with the gray stone wash blade. So uh, again, these are all new versions of the Bull Mastiff, which is a uh, older model that we have. So guys, this one is just fun. It's running on uh, ceramic ball bearings and that heavy blade is so satisfying. It just lets it drop. Oh, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> and then using 9CR. 9CR steel. 9CR steel. Um, Again, like I said, this, there's a video, already videos on this knife. It's been around for a little while, um, but uh, definitely a full-size knife and uh, from all uh, interpretations of the word. Um, nice cleaver design. Big fuller on there that's easy to middle finger flip um, and very, very satisfying. So. you got a fun choil in here. Yep. So you can actually choke up if you want to for a cutting task you're going to be doing, but this definitely is a, a larger knife. It is. It's a fun one. Guys, thanks for joining us, Kyle. Thanks for being here. Thanks for um, having me. We're, we'll have you. We'll have you here as much as we can for these videos, um, and uh, stay tuned for the next video over on the We Channel. We've got a couple others dropping over there. So, have a great day, guys.